Hey what's up guys, Thrun here back with another video and in this video I'm gonna show you how to create this photo effect and boy this is gonna be a complicated one so get ready for that and let's get started. So as you guys can see I'm going to use all of these images from devintag.com and if you want to use any of this image for practice the download link is in description and I'm also going to use this PSP file for the hair that the fake hair we are going to apply and this download link is also available so you can practice properly and this is our model layer the graveyard you can see here and this is the forest or background now I'm not going to go deep into like selection and stuff since it's a manipulation tutorial but I can show you basics like how basics like how you can cut someone from background and since it's a red dressed model in front of a white background it's really easy all you have to do is just get a quick selection tool and start selecting and it will do all the job you don't have to worry about anything and now if uh, there is some smaller portions like this just make your brush really really smaller using your big bracket key and just make selection and it will take care of it a pen tool would be better for this type of detailed area but uh, you can also deal with it like using quick selection and since we are going to apply fake hair we do not need to make selection of the hair so that is uh, one relief and once you think that your selection is really good uh, click on this mask option here and it will remove the rest of area actually it will hide it and after that uh, if you are missing on some portion or something uh, you can paint with just uh, let me grab it and you can just paint with white color on your mask so let me select a normal brush and you can just uh, go here and let me paint it with white color and you can see it will bring back all the data so you can do it that way and then let's do some refining as you can see the edges are really really rough so you can right click refine mask and uh, let's go and apply a little bit of feather so it will make the edges softer and then add some contrast so it will make it smaller uh, actually make it smoother <laughs> so sorry for that and hit ok so this way you can also take care of uh, for rough edges and that's it and now let's move on to graveyard and in the graveyard uh, let's go here and and select our magnetic lasso tool and uh, start uh, making selection like this slowly and just keep doing it and if it doesn't work out in first try and if or you want to remove any points uh, just uh, use your backspace key or maybe control Z whatever you like to use so I'm just gonna go here and make a selection of this and it, uh, if it's a little bit terrible or something then try using different tool like pen tool <laughs> uh, so uh, that would be really really great and then I'm just gonna make a terrible terrible selection of this one and then hit ok I, I mean double click <laughs> sorry for that so once you double click it will make the selection itself and then again apply layer mask and if you want to take care of this type of stuff uh, select your brush tool uh, this thing is only possible with layer mask you should keep that in mind and now I'm gonna make the size smaller like this and make it hard maybe 80% uh, and then click once here and shift click once here and it will make a really uh, good selection of it and now we need to erase some part so do the same thing with black color click here and then straight click here holding your shift key and it will make it really straight and really nicely usable so that is one big relief and that's it so I'm just gonna cut this uh, sorry close this file since we do not need it I'm going to use actual cutouts that uh, I have in my original file as you can see here so let's first shut off everything and here's the grave layer here you go where is it here don't worry about saying all this mess <laughs> I'm gonna explain everything properly so put it here and this is the graveyard where is it okay let's move it here yeah here now I'm gonna make it slightly bigger like that and uh, my system is taking kind of a load so <laughs> uh, bear with me uh, I don't have a really powerful computer so uh, it is not taking uh, it very lightly let's go to image and reduce the image size a bit okay this is ridiculous so I'm gonna make it 2500 for tutorial and that should do it and I'm gonna make it even bigger like that and put it here 
and let's see the proportion in original one so let's go here oops where is it uh, here and let's see the proportion so yeah that looks fine now you might be wondering how I did this grass thingy so let me first reveal it so I can show you properly so I'm just painting with white color in my mask as you can see here so let's suppose that this is your grave you cut it out from that photo and it's here now to make it look like that it is coming it is like uh, really into the grass now go here and select your grass brush from here and then go into this option here uh, and it will open this different stuff and shut down your scattering color dynamics and transfer everything and also smoothing and just uh, focus on shape dynamics and in the shape dynamics uh, make sure that angle jitter is not way too much otherwise it will start flipping it so I'm gonna keep it to maybe let's say 7 and everything else is normal minimum diameter don't go crazy with that too so you know, this looks now kind of a fine to me and let's uh, uh, go to brush tip shape here and decrease the spacing a little so that is great and now just paint with uh, where is it black color uh, and everything will be great and first I will increase the size of the brush a little bit uh, make sure that it is kind of taller as grass and then start painting here just like that and uh, your job will be done and keep doing it one or, once or twice and it will do the job it is not that big of a deal and let's go here and study the original file so let me first take it out here and as you can see we have and now the woman layer and as you can see I have also done that grass thingy with her too so first of all uh, I'm gonna open my, my like group and I'm gonna bring this woman layer in here and let's uh, turn it down for a moment and then I'm gonna press Ctrl T and make her smaller and into the proportion and we are also going to crop the whole background to make it seem like they are kind of far away and then hit enter so as I said the cropping so I'm gonna crop it a little bit from the top like that and hit enter so the, it gives more of a wider frame which I like to use a lot and let's move this grave a little bit here and the good thing about using masking is that now you can move it anywhere and it will work like charm and that is great and now the woman layer a bit here and as I said I did the same thing with the woman layer uh, and I can show you the mask as you can see here the same brush and now creating the shadows for both so this is the graveyard and I'm gonna create a layer under that and I'm gonna name it shadow and then uh, let's go and select your polygon lasso tool and make a one click here 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 and here and do double click and fill in the black color and press ctrl D now go to your filter blur and apply some Gaussian blur uh, that seems fine and then decrease the opacity to maybe let's say uh, that looks great it might look a bit weird or funny right now but once you apply all the color correction changes it will work really great uh, and if you are not sure first apply correction then make shadows that will go really great too so now the woman layer uh, so first create a new blank layer and let's name it uh, uh, model shadow and that uh, looks fine and now this time uh, this tool would be kind of a fine but if you can make shapes through pen tool uh, that would be better but this is also gonna kind of work so now I'm gonna fill in the black color in that too now go to filter blur and Gaussian blur and uh, then I'm gonna decrease it a little because that's way too much and that looks fine and then decrease the opacity a little and there is your woman shadow you can tweak it you can press ctrl T and then adjust it any way you want like that and just hold down your control click, control click while adjusting it and everything will be great so I'm just gonna press Ctrl Z so first of all I'm gonna show you some adjustment uh, with uh, graveyard and let's create a new layer on top of that and let's rename it to some more shadows for grave okay that's really long name I would not just using this one so that is uh, the layer the blank layer that we created now select a brush tool and uh, this time select a normal soft round brush and start painting on this with black color obviously so I'm gonna paint with black color and let's paint it just like that 
and then uh, right click and select a create clipping mask so it will clip only on your layer and then decrease the opacity and then start increasing a little 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 so let's see maybe uh, 20 is fine and I'm doing all this because I already know that I need to create a night scene so that's why I'm doing all this hard work and this is gonna work <laughs> so you have to be sure that what you are going to do uh, in the final output so that looks fine and now I'm gonna select all of these things and then I'm gonna press ctrl G to put it into group and let's name it grave and never ever worry about my spellings if they're wrong <laughs> because I totally suck at spellings and now let me put it here for simplicity sake now it's time to add those fake hair onto this girl and then we will do some adjustment but the first the fake hair so as you can see here I have different type of this hair here and I'm going to use this uh, curvy ones as you can see here so take it out and make sure that you have your model layer here and then put it uh, right on this uh, document and then select ok don't worry about this message so as you can see here we have this uh, really cool hair but they are from different color so first of all let's put it on top like that and then I'm gonna press ctrl T to make it smaller like that and then rotate it a little bit and uh, let's try to match it, match it with the like actual hair as much as you can so I'm gonna right click and wrap it a little bit so that also helps to match the perspective a little and then hit enter so as you can see here this kind of doesn't look that much of natural so I'm gonna right click ctrl T and wrap it even more on this way so that looks kind of a fine to me and then let's put it down a little from here and then hit enter and now you need to make duplicate of this layer so press ctrl J and it will create a duplicate and then move it a slightly here and then uh, I'm gonna apply a layer mask to remove this from her hair uh, actually from her face <laughs> sorry my mistake and then let's grab your brush tool and paint with black color here like that right click you can also increase the hardness a little bit to uh, give it more sharper look and then I'm gonna paint here again a little bit with that and you can keep it on her hand if that looks uh, nice to you but I thought uh, about like removing it totally so that looks fine and once you decide that the hair is perfectly settled down uh, just select both of this layer and then press ctrl E so it will create a single layer now go to image adjustment and go to hue saturation and at first it will be really difficult to find the color exactly matching to her hair but uh, as you can see uh, if you try a little bit more you might find the proper color so minus 13 works really great with that and maybe try some saturation and we have perfect color lightness darkness little so i'm gonna make it slightly darken maybe five or six points so that looks right and hit ok now you need to create some depth in the hair so for that create a new layer uh, right click and make it clipping mask so whatever you paint uh, here it st will stay on the hair so I'm gonna paint black color here like that and then decrease the opacity to maybe let's say uh, 13 or maybe 10 that looks great and then we need to create this little highlight as you can see here to give it even more depth so create a new layer and I'm gonna paint with white color as you can see here uh, like that now go to filter blur and go to Gaussian blur and decrease the blur a little bit like that and now change the opacity and if you, you can also try changing blend mode so try soft light but not working really great so put it on normal and maybe try overlay so that is kind of working okay now it's working better you can also go to filter and again blur it uh, I'm going really 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 fast uh, because it is gonna be a kind of long tutorial so if you turn it on and off you can see you have that uh, little depth which makes it even more believable I think this is way too darker but uh, you can deal it uh, deal with it uh, later since it's on separate layer so let's uh, uh, like select all of this and press ctrl G and name it hair so it can be simple as simple as possible and I'm also gonna go to grave or uh, select uh, this uh, shadow part and increase the opacity a little 
so it is more noticeable and also the model shadow so increase the opacity a little okay uh, after that uh, let's go back and see what else we have so as you can see here this is much better and smoother than this one but uh, you get the idea what I'm trying to say so as you can see here this is the actual layer uh, and these are the adjustments that I made a little little and so to do that uh, first of all uh, so first of all I'm gonna create a new adjustment layer of uh, gradient and uh, first of all hit ok right click and make it create clipping mask so it will be only on model now again double click on this one and in the gradient select natural black to white gradient and now in the gradient change the angle so this portion is kind of darker so that looks uh, really fine to me and increase it slightly and hit ok and now change the blend mode to something like overlay or soft light so soft light uh, seems fine but I think multiply would be even better so yes multiply is working really nice and I'm also gonna go back and decrease the scale a little and you can also play with it like uh, slide it to somewhere so that looks uh, more believable and if you turn it on and off you can see that uh, it is creating kind of dark but we need it in other portions so let's uh, decrease the scale even more uh, to one and then put it here I might also make it reverse so it is on this other side uh, I will mess up things in this tutorial now and then because it's kind of even complicated a little for me so please try to keep up with me and we both will be fine so I'm gonna increase the scale a little and then increase even more and put it here and hit ok and you can just simply decrease the opacity too so that is uh, cancel ok uh, and that looks kind of fine now let's see what we uh, what other adjustment layers we have so it is a curves so double click on it and in the curves let's see we have added a bit of a blue and magenta uh, so no we don't have magenta so we have added a little bit of a blue and let's see okay no other color so in the blue a little from here and here and let's see the RGB so nothing in RGB so let's go here and create a new adjustment layer and this time select curves and I'm gonna make it a clipping mask by clicking here and then let's go to blues and insert a bit of a blue uh, from here and then bit uh, from here and if you turn it on and off you can see the changes a really subtle change and then let's go back and create another layer so this is a brightness contrast layer so if you double click you can see I have decreased a bit of a brightness to make it even darker uh, from this portion and I'm doing all this because I already know that my light uh, my light source will be coming from here uh, from this portion so obviously uh, this portion will be brighter and this would be darker that's why I'm doing all of this hard work to make it believable so go and create new adjustment layer and uh, select brightness contrast and kill the brightness uh, touch and make it a let's say clipping mask <laughs> so I'm getting clumsy with words a little bit so decrease it a little and then uh, turn it on and off okay that looks fine now select your brush uh, make it a little bigger right click and make it 0% hard and then start painting on this portion here make sure opacity is 100% uh, with uh, black color and remove it from here like that so we have that dark part only on this side and not on the other side so that uh, kind of looks really good and if you turn it on and off you can see and if you turn all of this three off and on you can see it makes really big difference okay where did this layer come from <laughs> even I don't know so you know let's go back to hair and here is the hair since we need to add a little bit of blue in that too so go to adjustment and go to curves and I'm gonna go and add a bit of a blue in those hair too so that, uh, so that they can match with the rest of the hair so hit ok that looks great now select all of these things and I'm gonna put it inside the group so press ctrl G and now if you open it you have your model the hair and everything so it can be really easily manageable so the girl is ready and the graveyard is also ready now let's go back and what else we have so let's go here and we have some curves adjustment and some hue saturation 
so let's go back uh, and create a new adjustment layer on top of let's say grave because i want this adjustment to affect grave too so i'm gonna go and create a new adjustment layer of curves and make it really darker like that uh, it should be really dark noticeably and that looks kind of fine and don't make it way way dark that you cannot even see details anymore so that looks uh, good and then select a brush tool and paint with black color in here right click and make it uh, softer okay it is already and then paint on this area so rest uh, rest of uh, area is dark but this portion is only bright since the light will be here so that is great and now create another adjustment layers and this time hue saturation and in the hue saturation let's go back and see the numbers so we don't waste any more time so here in the hue saturation uh, let's go to yellows and we have minus 180 minus 20 so let's go here and go to yellows and we have minus 120 minus 180 and let's name it uh, let's make it minus 20 so that looks great so we are done with the basic adjustment and it kind of looks really good uh, more better than expected because things uh, most of them doesn't go really good uh, in the tutorials now add some fog in the background and fog in the foreground and it is really simple job to do uh, first of all we need a fog in foreground so i'm gonna create a layer on top of everything and paint with white color like that or first of all just make it a single ball like this and then press ctrl D uh, stretch it a little and hit enter and if you uh, hear any kind of background noise my CPU fan is kind of not working properly so you might hear that in the background try to avoid it uh, so and now I'm going to decrease the opacity of the fog so we can blend it better so that looks great now duplicate this fog and then put it under the model layer and then put it in the background like that and then make it bigger smaller keep playing with it uh, as long as you like so i'm gonna make it bigger like that and hit enter let's go back and how much fog we have so yep we are kind of close and then let's rename it to fog 4g uh, it's like four for foreground let's rename it completely and then uh, let's rename it where is the fog background here is it and let's rename it fog uh, background so let's go here and so that is uh, easier to manage uh, once uh, you realize that you are going to work with too many layers keep uh, the name of every uh, one of them and you can also change the colors like this right click and change any color this way so it can be really easy to manage uh, and then let's see what else we have so we are done with almost all the basic stuff and now I'm going to create this light ball here so let's go back and create a new a new layer under this uh, hue saturation layer so I'm gonna make uh, a blank layer here and let's name it uh, let's say light and that's fine now select your brush tool and make a big ball here like that okay and then press ctrl t and squish it a little bit and then put it on top like that and also stretch it slightly not way too much so that looks fine and then i'm gonna move it a little here and now go to image adjustment and select hue saturation and then select colorize uh, first of all this hue slider won't work so decrease the lightness a little and increase the saturation like that and then change the hue so it will help you to create uh, cool colors and then increase the lightness if you think it's way too much so that is kind of looking good hit ok now duplicate this one press ctrl T and make it a bit smaller holding your shift key and put it on top uh, like that and then I'm gonna make uh, another dot with white color uh, right here and then I'm gonna decrease that opacity a little and then select uh, both of this layer and press ctrl E so there is a single light source and now change the blend mode to screen and there you have it your light you can change this color anytime you want so that is one big benefit and then let's go back here and this one is way way softer and natural so i'm just gonna make it ctrl t bit more bigger put it here and then let's drag it down and let's make it a bit like that 
this thing sometimes take uh, more time than I expect <laughs> so that looks way 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 better than we had before so here it's more like lower on opacity so you can just change it uh, and also the color here is kind of different but don't try to match it properly uh, I just want to show you how you can create those bulbs because the color you can change it anytime with hue saturation so that is not the problem now let's go and select a hue uh, sorry the curves and in the curves uh, let's say we have in the red um, nothing in the green okay we have a bit of a magenta and in the blue a bit of a blue so let's go here and create a new curves adjustment layer on top of everything and here I'm gonna go and go to first of all green and add a bit of a magenta because uh, in the night scene magenta kind of works with blue and then a bit of a blue so that looks better and then close it now let's go back and see what else we have so let's go back here and we have this fake depth of field so to create that first of all shut down your curves layer we do not need it right now select a fog layer and create a new layer so it will create a blank on top of it and let's name it to uh, let's say fake blur and hit ok now uh, you have to press uh, this case uh, press Control alt shift and E and it will create a JPG inside your Photoshop like this And now we need to make selection of this grave this model and her hair and everything because we need uh, the blur in background not on top of them So to do that, uh, let's uh, first of all control click on this grave mask So this will make selection of this one Now open your group and there you have mask for girl too. So hold your control and shift key and then click on this mask so it will make selection of that too and now open your hair group and hold down control and shift and then click on this hair so it will make selection of this everything and then shut down everything and now you have to press control shift and i so it will invert the selection and blur the rest of it so go to filter blur and let's go to lens blur and here you can uh, use as much fake blur as you want so I'm gonna just uh, adjust uh, radius a little bit. You can try this different type of blurs and everything. And this is really fun place to play. I really like uh, like messing with this stuff. So that looks kind of nice. You have to make sure that it also looks believable, not really fake. Now press Ctrl D and here you have your fake blur ready on a separate layer. And now all you have to do is just uh, decrease the opacity a little to blend it better. So if you turn it on and off, you can see it. Now we do not need that blur here in foreground so I'm gonna apply a layer mask and paint black here so we don't have that in our uh, foreground and then decrease opacity even more to make it more believable okay that looks kind of fine and let's turn on the curves layer back so now overall image is looking much much better now let's go back and what else we have so we have this color balance layer to give it that final punch to make it a total night so let's start with the shadows we have minus 19 and plus 19 so let's go back here and close it and create new adjustment uh, where is it color balance and here in the shadows we have minus 19 to add that cyan and then we have my uh, sorry the plus 19 to add that blue and let's go back and forth as to see the numbers okay it's minus 24 so even more uh, cyan in the midtones and let's go into the highlights and there is minus 85 and plus 72 so there is minus 85 and there is plus 72 now this looks really extreme i know <laughs> but don't worry about it all you have to do is just decrease the opacity a little bit so let's make it uh, let's say maybe 25 30 so 30 looks kind of a fine and let's turn it on and off and see now it looks much much better now let's go back and what else we have so we have some really good sharpening here going on so create a new blank layer and let's name it sharp uh, nice. and then uh, press ctrl alt shift e just the way we did before and it will create a jpg now go to filter other and select high pass now we need to make it kind of sharp so I'm go not gonna go with really crazy numbers uh, maybe 2 or 3 so 2.7 looks fine and then change the blend mode to hard light 
and if you turn it on and off you can see the crazy difference it makes in sharpness but we do not need it in every place so apply layer mask and fill in black color so it will hide everything and then paint with white color only in the area where you need so it will save a lot of time uh, in the masking so let's paint a little bit of here in grass and in this stone so it looks much much sharper and really good and maybe a little bit here in the grass okay so that looks uh, really great and now let's go back and what else we have so here is that uh, blur uh, even more blur so <laughs> i have named it gosh and glow so you will know why so create a new layer again press ctrl alt shift e and a jpg is created now go to filter blur and give it a gaussian blur so 4.4 pixel or maybe 5 6 okay 8 uh, 7 8 is fine and change the blend mode to screen and then decrease the opacity to let's say maybe 8 or 10 or 20 or 30 <laughs> there is no limit okay that looks fine now again apply a layer mask and if you hold down alt key while applying a mask it will already apply a blank mask so a little time saving there too and now i'm gonna pa uh, paint it a bit here only on this area and bit here uh, to make it even more brighter even and if you want some details here you can paint here too so that kind of looks better a little now all we have to do is just uh, hide this portion with some little bit of a cloning so create a new layer and select uh, all layers so it will sample all of the layers and start painting like this i'm gonna make it slightly bigger sample it from here and paint it here like that and your job is done so that looks uh, a bit weird okay now that looks fine so i'm just gonna make even bit more changes here and make it a bit brighter uh, like that and you can also like uh, create a new blank layer and uh, make uh, a really big white ball like that and then decrease the opacity a little and then change the color by going hue adjustment and select hue saturation and then uh, make it colorize and increase the saturation decrease the lightness a bit and then change the color to match it with our actual image and then it will work out really nice so this way you can create as many cool stuff you want so that wraps up the tutorial for today and it was a crazy one <laughs> i would admit that so i hope you guys learned something i put a lot of effort in this tutorial so that you guys can learn and i can <laughs> grow my channel obviously so if you have any kind of questions or stuff uh, ask me in the comments and if you actually learn something hit that like button so i can know and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for the future updates and check out this other tutorials by tutorials junction till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop